um, I think we'll just do um, for the onion today. The okra, I think the, the soonest that you're going to start, maybe mid of November. Okay, right? Because um, that requires a bit more of land preparation and stuff. Okay, and plus the the onion, if if we do it from now, you might actually see the results, the flower and the seeds. Okay, and um, this can be very interesting. All right. Okay. Um, so about the onion. What's, what's the Latin name? Are we dealing with onion or what? Shallot, yeah. So what's the difference? It's a lot smaller, okay? All right. Both are allium. But what, this is the genus, okay? But what, what is the species? What? So, this is something that you need to, um, it's, it's in a minute. If it's not a minute, there's something for you to find out, okay? What is the, um, um, species. It's, this one start with C, this one start with A. Okay. Onion, it's the growth habit for onion is what we call as my biennial. What's the difference between biennial and biannual? Is it biennial or bi biennial? Biannual. Which one? Why now? Why, why not by, by annual? Two years per cycle. By, by annual means two times in a year. By annual, two years. One for one cycle, but for plants, not necessarily mean years. Okay, this can actually equivalent to um, season. Okay, can also mean season. All right. Um. So by looking at that phase, you can see that the cycle of the onion. You can divide it into two hemispheres. Okay, so you have the vegetative half of it and the reproductive part of it. Our tropical plants, mostly that you have to deal with, do not have this kind of cycle. So this is kind of special and can be very tricky and difficult. So if you manage to deal with this kind of crop, difficult crop, other crops are very easy, um, relatively, okay? So, oops, um, when we start with seeds, let's say that we have lots of seeds here, and the plant is going to grow, and this is usually the first year. It's going to grow, and you can see it will start to produce the small, the small bulb, and then it will have more branching of the bulb. Yeah, in essence, it just get bigger and bigger. Remember, okay, from one bulb during this cycle, it can give rise to many bulbs from the same bulb. Um, the bulb just duplicate itself more and more. So maybe um, the first 50 days, you got one, but after three or four weeks time, you will have like, like a bunch, five or six, depending on the variety. And whatever that I'm talking here now is specially for shallot, okay? For onion, 
this is not happening. The duplication. Yeah. Onion is pretty much just one. One seed, one onion. You can have sometime two or three, but rarely five to six. Okay, because look at onion, it's already big. Okay, that requires lots of energy um, to make. All right? Okay, so towards um, the end, um, this bulb, I'll just draw one for simplicity, but actually, there, there are many. The leaf will actually start to die down. Okay? Just leaving the bulb. So this will um, uh, indicate that the bulb is entering the dormant period. In the temperate country, temperate country, which is the provenance of this onion, Provenance. Provenance means the, the origin. You will have four seasons. What are the seasons? So we start, let's say we start with spring. After spring? Summer. Autumn. Autumn or fall? Either one. And then you have winter. Okay, and then you will go back to this so this actually during the summertime summertime fall time and this is actually between the um, fall and winter that's why the this dormant period is happening okay so just because um, the bulb is not having any shoots, doesn't mean that it's dead, okay? So for the production of uh, purely bulbs and sets, oh, there's another terminology here. When it's producing um, smaller bulbs in a cluster like this, then you will have your smaller bulb like this, right? You have your bulb and then you, you the, the smaller bulb producing its own uh, leaf. This one, we call it, set yeah the difference between bulb and set is bulb is just a bulb without the green part okay the moment your bulb start to have this leaf we call it set and set is very very small duplication okay all right for the purpose of um, um, agriculture produce this is the end of it people can get this harvest drying so the process of drying we call it curing and here can we can go straight to the market Yeah, meaning that you have your bulb in the ground, you take the bulbs out, and after the process of curing, they can go straight to the market. Good to go. Can be used in the kitchen. However, for the production of um, seeds, this bulb, it will have to undergo another winter. This winter here. This is winter, okay? Winter. And then after winter, you're going to see spring. Okay, so during the springtime, if the bulb stay in the ground, it will start to sprouting back again. The bulb that you thought were dead, this guy, it will start to sprouting again. And it will become bigger and bigger. Yeah, but the special thing that's happening now is you don't really get um, only this. The branching here can start to happen. I need to have a better marker. No, that's fine. 
You get me any water? Okay, so you will get um, lots of um, bulbs duplication as well. But this time, since it has undergone winter, and this winter, something special happened to the bulb called vernalization. Or the easy term for that is cold treatment. Genet um, at the gene level, something interesting happened to the bulb. And this will trigger the bulb not only producing leaves, but also will start to producing the flower stalk. Flower stalk. And this flower stalk, we call it scape. Okay, do not get confused, okay? In the first half of it, the same event happened. You get the sprouting, you get the bulb multiplication. This also happened here. The difference is, now you get this structure. Okay, when you leave it a bit more, maybe like uh, another one month or so, the bulb with the scape, the scape will start to producing the flower. Okay, and the flower in the form of umbrella that we call umbel. And each of this flower will become the seeds, the black seed, just like this one. Okay, and then it will die down. When you take this out of the ground, it is not going to be as big as the original size. Because all the food now has been redirected to the production of the flower structure. So pretty much there is no bulb now. Okay, no bulb. From here, all the way to here, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, but the floral structure gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, right. Now, let's see how this is going to be useful, this information for your experiment. So for your experiment, the onion that you get from the supermarket, you can get this very easily. The shallot here. Anybody has not changed a lot before? No, no, never saw this before? Do you, do, you, do you like working with this? Yeah. Why? Too small to cut. Um, so, whatever you get in the market actually is from this stage. This stage. So, there is a possibility that it has or it has not undergone the winter period in the original place, original cultivation period, okay? Therefore, the good thing is, we don't have to worry about this stage. The onion now, since it is dormant, this guy, it is dormant, is ready to go towards this cycle. All the way now, up to here. However, we need to make it go vernalization. Why? This, that's why. Um, where is the other um, image? This one? Oh, okay. Right. Um, make it bigger, a bit bigger. Just a little bigger. Okay. <coughs> When you look at onion like this, I got any knife. Did you bring any knife? Okay. You can try this later, okay? Uh, we have extra onion for you to play around. 
onion is actually modified leaf. Whatever you see in the layer of onion, they are actually leaf, fleshy leaf. Oh, the smell. So if you open the onion, you can see layer like this. Yeah, so I'm going to draw now. Yeah, something like that. Can you see that? So this cross section of onion, you're going to see something like this. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's three. Yeah, it depends on the size of the onion. Okay, so you're going to see that at the bottom here, there is something that looks a bit different than the rest of the onion. Okay, yeah, for both sides here, this side as well. So this is rather um, creamish color. So the rest, you, you get the rose color, the rose uh, pink color, the regular onion color. So this part here is actually the meristem. Do you know meristem? Do you have meristem? Do you have meristem? Where? Where? Do you have meristem? Do you have meristem? No. No? No. Yes. I just want to see who who says um, we have meristem. Three. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, suddenly. Uh, uh. Okay. So the rest. So you don't think we have meristem? No. You don't think so? Okay. What What do you think the function of meristem is? If it's plant, it will grow into shoots and fruits, and it, it will be like dividing the soil. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's correct. Okay, all right. So, in human, there is no similar structure. Now maybe. <laughs> now, if you think about it, I might just dig my own hole. <laughs> um, so, meristem is basically um undifferentiated cells, okay? Meaning that cells that have, if you learn tissue culture, any of you taking plant micropropagation? Okay, if you, if you take the class, you're going to see that cells, like this cell, we've got a bunch of cells, yeah. So this meristem cell, one characteristic is, I'm not talking about the gamete cells, okay? I'm talking about the somatic cells. Like this guy here. This is somatic cell. It has what we call as the pluripotency. Pluripotency. Okay. And this is somatic. Somatic meaning that all cells besides gamete sex cells. So pluripotency meaning that these cells undifferentiated. Undifferentiated. The destiny of the cells is not yet determined. It can be anything. Okay? So, is there anything in your body that has these properties? Pluripotency properties. Your bone marrow. Do you have bone marrow? Yes. Where? So I'm spine, the whole spine. So it's 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 if you if you learn human biology, it's some something at, at the bottom here. Coccyx. Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. Coccyx. The, the tail, somewhere here. So you got your marrow. So bone marrow is pretty much this. Pluripotency. Look at the, the, the terminologies. It's pluripotent. Gamete cells, your zygote embryo, 
your zygote or your embryo, we don't call it pluripotent or undifferentiated, we call it totipotent. Okay, toti because it can give rise to a total of organism. Pluripotent meaning that it can be of various organs. It cannot give rise to the whole organism, it, but it can give rise to pluri. Plural, plural means many. Many structure. It, it, it can be a leaf, it can be stalk, it can be stem, but not to the point it can become a whole organism. Okay, so get the terminology is correct. So when you look at this, coming back to your onion, this is your meristem, and since it is meristem, it is undifferentiated. It has not become the meristem that can give rise to this scape. Your flower stop. Oh, I smell curry now. And this is why this diagram is important. It shows you that in order to achieve flowering, you need to change the identity of your meristem here. So your motivation now for your experiment, you need to change your meristem to floral meristem. You need to change the identity. Now it is vegetative. It is still in this memory. We need to change it into here now. What can you do? A number of things. Oh, sorry. Go, 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 go up, go up. Up, 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 up. <coughs> you can play around with. There are, there are a number of um, things at, at the top. You can play around with the photo period, meaning that the amount of light perceived by your shallot. And you can play around with the quality of the light, meaning that the color, yeah, the color play some roles in determining what's the change of the identity. And also, look at this, the vernalization, the cold treatment, and also the gibberellin, the GA, gibberellic acid, the phytohormones. So all of these factors, they come together individually, separately, or they come together in integration to change the identity of the meristem to become a flowering meristem. The moment you manage to change the identity, then only you will get your flower stock. Otherwise, what happens if it doesn't receive all this stimulus, it will just do this again and again and again. Change the identity. That's why we do the vernalization. So we do vernalization <coughs> because um, at the gene level, it will suppress. Okay, if you look at this diagram, even though this is from a paper, if you read any paper talking about gene expression, the symbols used, the notation used, pretty much standard, okay? So whenever you see a symbol like this, it means inhibit. The gene or the mRNA expression, the transcript of the mRNA get inhibited. But when you have something like this, meaning that it is expressed, express or um, the expression go up. Just as simple as that. So when you look at this, when you give the cold treatment to your shallot later, you will see that this FLC gene, this is a protein actually, it gets inhibited. And when this gets inhibited, meaning that it is not expressed in the cell. Why this is important? The moment this is not expressed in the cell, it will cause a set of other genes to wake up. So this is like a chain reaction, okay? 
it's 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 kind of analogous when when you are being um, noisy can your little brother sleep okay maybe because if it just they just don't care these crazy people they don't know how to shut up i just i'll just sleep we're talking about normal regular baby brother so one event happened another event will happen right and in this case for floral initiation most plants whenever this gene flc flowering locus c that's the full name of it whenever this guy is a lot in the cell meristem will not change identity to floral meristem okay but the moment you bring this down you are going to uh, wake up a bunch of genes that collectively known as the floral integrator genes okay and when these sets of genes are wake up in turn another sets of genes are going to wake up as well so it's like a change relation you 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 pushed one domino piece the rest of the domino is going to fall following the chain reaction okay and in this part here you can see gibberellin will strengthen the action okay so you have your vernalization and then coupled with gibberellin that will solidify the transition of the floral marine stem we call it floral induction or floral initiation that needs to happen first get inducted get initiated then only the floral stop will grow then you will get your scape visually appear all right as simple as that all right <clears throat> what about other things well other things um we're not going to do because we don't have lots of time unless if you if you this is your project then we can test a lot of things so at this level this is the easiest one we play around with the ice that's why you put um look at your manual we're going to put it in the fridge right yeah however we cannot put it too cold you might wonder why don't you put it if if vanillaization cold treatment is so great why don't you put it in the freezer you know make it certain solidify the transition of the uh, meristem become make it become floral meristem why why can't we put it in the freezer why we put it in the fridge this onion you're going to you're going to do it very soon why what's the difference freezer and fridge temperature true okay why which which one is colder freezer what's the temperature of the freezer minus 20 fridge is about four to eight degree okay so what happens to your bulb when they are in the freezer it's frozen so metabolically what happened to when your tissue is in frozen state pretty much none of this can happen it's just too cold you need a bit of warmth to energize chemical reactions okay when it's too cold the vernalization cannot take place because even though it 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 shuts up the flc it cannot awaken the integrator genes and the meristem identity gene why because it's just too cold there is not enough energy plus when it's too cold what happened to the water inside here they will become ice ice will become crystal crystal can turn into something sharp and poking your cells and actually killing yourself from inside yeah it's going to crystallize you see the ice something is very sharp right imagine that thing happening to yourself you are hoping to initiate flowering but because you put it in the freezer you're just killing yourself so don't do that so we put it in the fridge right okay so for now that is all to get you started
with the experiment. Is that clear? Or still, still not quite sure why you are here? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. Sorry, um, this thing actually, um, sorry, this, this actually you need to um, suppress in order for this to come, come about. Oh, so it's natural. Yeah, yeah. So, you to yep. so that you will come out. Yeah. Yep. Then the, the because out actually this, this two events come together. These two events come together. We don't usually see it as separate. That's why I say that it's awakened. None of this is, 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 is going to be matter if these are not active. So when I say awakened, actually I was referring straight to here. Oh, so if there's none of this, this will yeah. be Yeah, because if you look at, look at the gibberellin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Yep. Thank you. Okay, get it? Okay, now, um, so um, let's divide yourself according to what has been instructed earlier. And we do, what's the plan now? I did not know. What's your plan? Ah, ah, go, go, marah, marah. Yeah. Okay, any question before, before you, you do your work? Take this opportunity to learn something out of the ordinary, okay? I can assure you. Up to this point, nobody in the whole Malaysia has ever done this kind of experiment. It's, it's not easy to, to, to figure out a lot of these things. Okay? So since you are the first, yeah, should be proud of it. Okay, go on. All right. Okay, so uh, assemble yourself, arrange yourself, um, be proactive, keep things moving. Okay. If you're not here, ask. I need to see. Hari Kamis minggu depan tak boleh ada lab sebab aku pergi sama jadi jadi lab minggu depan kita akan diganti dengan pasukan bawang hari Rabu Rabu macam tu sekejap katanya untuk kalau semua tak boleh maksudnya wakil kumpulan je lah datang untuk transfer ke sana kelas tak? Uh, kelas kelas mana ada di sini? Di Papua Bali. Tapi apa ni ada lah? Apa ni sama? Yang depan lagi. Tapi bulan depan dua puluh lima, dua puluh tujuh, dua puluh tujuh hari bulan tu tak ada lab macam hari ini lah. Tiga okay. dengan hari sebelumnya. Kelas uh, plan bawang. Oh, hari Rabu. Hari Rabu. Hari Rabu. Ini macam ni. Nak ada orang kampung tu, jadi cepatlah sikit Apa? Oh, I forgot to tell you something. Uh, have you asked them about the Wednesday? Is it tak ingat? Tak. Okay, this is important. So, um, I'm not going to be around on Thursday next week. So it is not possible to do this on Thursday this time, but you still need to transfer. Is it 
possible to do the day before in the evening. So you have to come. So we have changed the time. Okay. So when, which which day are you possible to do in the evening? Because actually, um, you, don't have to worry, you don't have to worry. You just come in the evening, Tuesday, okay? So by the time you come, the shallots will actually have undergone ice, ice water treatment for like eight hours because we'll do it right in the morning. And then right before you transplant your shallot, you need to treat it with potassium permanganate solution for five minutes for disinfection. Okay? So make sure that you know which bulb go to which hole because you need to follow the, the, the growth of this uh, individual bulb. Divide among yourself. Maybe one person um, responsible for five bulbs. I don't know. Among, among yourself. Okay? Play nice with your teammates. Or people not happy with the teammates want to change team? Want to create a new team? Kim Kwat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, all right. That is all for today. Um, is there any question or things that you're not clear? About the experiment, about the thing that you just learned, this thing? Um, your friend asked just now about this thing when I said that it kind of awakened this. Um, what I meant was, I'll just repeat this to solidify your understanding. The culprit here that you do not want is FLC expression. That is the basic um, knowledge. Whenever this FLC is turned on, being expressed, these genes, this set of genes here, they are asleep. Okay, look at this arrow here. The presence of FLC suppressing this gene. The moment you shut up FLC, what happened to this FT, FD? FT stands for floral transition. Okay, FD, floral development. Okay. V V I N uh, vernalization with the V V I L as well, All right? So when F L C is not around, F T and F T D they are going to be awakened or not? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's why we do not want this. Okay. This is gone. This will come about. When this come about, this is the time to go home. <laughs> okay, you get the idea, you get the story, okay? <laughs> yeah, so it's a very subtle uh, message from the, from the uh, electronic devices. You talk too much. Go home now. <laughs> okay, okay, not to worry. Uh, you, you have it with you, right? The, the color thing, yeah. Uh, either one uh, to activate this. But, but as I sometimes put it this way, because they themselves they're not very clear yet. Uh -huh. So when new researcher come along or new student, this is the gene that they target. They want to be certain. Okay, what is the function now? We know that this gene next to the rest of it, but uh, is it really functioning to suppress the FLC or otherwise? Yeah, yeah. The inhibition is. I mean to stop it from inhibiting either, either one or... Is... Number one, stop this first. The moment this is stopped, this will come about. Okay, this, this is the, um, the light part. Okay, this light part, there are two things. It can be the photo period and also the light color. Okay, this is a bit more complex. Okay, that's why I'm, I'm not touching it. But it's like if let's say we go through if we use vanilla vanillizing, then we don't need to care about the light part, or do we have to actually if we if we have these two, some research has shown that this is strong enough 
to compensate oh. not being able to do the photo period. Oh, okay. Yeah, because of because of one thing, this gibberellin, gibberellin acid. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to put it into percentage, maybe this is about twenty percent. Oh. This is like, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Questions. Yeah. So we would like to understand about uh, if we only using the brain halfway and without penalization, how yeah. would they? Okay. If you only use um, uh, GA, but penalization is not happening, mm -hmm. it's pretty much like this. Um, you can have the uh, floral transition, floral initiation, but if your GA, let's say that the concentration is not enough, and then the photo period is also not enough, the meristem occurrence, the percentage can be reduced. Okay. Yeah. Meaning that out of the 10 onions that you're working on, maybe three manage to develop flower. So as simple as lowering the chances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it will happen, but some bulbs naturally, they easily low in flc if that is the problem if that is the case then small ga is enough yeah so this this factor vanillization photo period is just to remove this from the story whenever flc is in the story the identity of the meristem is not floral it's still vegetative meristem okay yeah just that okay yeah Right. Thank okay. You, sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I think that's all for today. So I'll see you again on Tuesday. Okay. Five p.m. Uh, five fifteen. All right. All right. Okay. See you. Bye.